got a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 laying around? Great, let's install Ubuntu on it so we can use it to drive our ROS robot. Hi, my name's Sid Faber. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you how to install Ubuntu 18.04 on your Raspberry Pi. All you need to get started is a Raspberry Pi. Again, a 3 or 4 will work. This is a Raspberry Pi 3A, uh, as well as an SD card. We're going to be using an 8 gig card. Anything greater than 4 gig will work, but 8 gig or more will give you plenty of room uh, to install software afterwards. Okay. Let's get started. Step one, download your image. Each ROS distribution is associated with an Ubuntu LTS release. So the Ubuntu version that you want to pull down is based on the ROS version. We're going to install ROS dashing, which is associated with Ubuntu 18.04. So that's the image we want to pull down. Okay, let's head on over to ubuntu.com to pull down that image. We'll click on the download links for the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, or 4. And here you see a few choices that we have. Uh, we want to stick with the Raspberry Pi version that we're working with. Always want the 64-bit installation uh, as well as Ubuntu 18.04. So we'll go ahead and pull that down. Keep in mind we're going to be using the server version, not the desktop version. We don't need to install a GUI on top of our robot. Okay, once this download's complete, we're ready to go ahead and write it to the card. First thing I have to do is install the SD card in my laptop. Okay, now I'm going to head on over to uh, the downloads page. There are a number of ways to write this image out to the SD card. I find the easiest way is just simply right click and open it with the disk image writer off of my Ubuntu desktop. I select the destination for my SD card reader, click start restoring, double check to make sure that this is the right device and hit restore. Grant it permissions and go ahead and let it write out. If you're working on a Windows desktop, uh, there are other instructions on the Ubuntu tutorials and elsewhere to help you write out to the card. Okay, we'll wait for this to complete, then we'll be ready to configure the card so that we can boot it up. Step three, configure for first boot. This is an optional step. Not sure about you, but I don't want to have to connect a keyboard and a monitor every time I re-image a Raspberry Pi. Instead, what I want to do is configure it so it automatically connects to my wireless network with a static IP address. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and mount the system boot partition of the image I just created. I can do that by simply clicking the play icon here. Go over to the system boot partition and edit the network config file. You see there's some uh, a connection already set up here for the wired ethernet. We'll leave that and add in a wireless network connection by simply removing the comments. I'll change it to my SSID, which is RobotNet, and add in my super secret RobotNet password. Next, I want to change this to static IP address. This file uses standard NetPlan syntax to configure your network adapters. So if you need more options, just search for help on NetPlan configuration. Okay, we'll go ahead and save that. Close that. Eject this partition, unmount that partition. And we're ready to go. Step four, first boot. Okay, let's go ahead and insert the card. Okay. 
So it's powering on now. You can see the lights start to flash on it. Uh, we'll go ahead and wait for it to start up. While that's going, we're going to go ahead and ping the device to see when it comes up on the network. Now this may take up to five minutes for the initial configuration to complete while it uh, initializes files, sets up keys, and so on and so on. Uh, however, if you're on Wi-Fi uh, and it still hasn't responded after about five minutes or so, go ahead and restart the device. There's a minor issue with it connecting to Wi-Fi the first time around. Everything's configured, it's just not activated, uh, so you may need to actually power off and power it back on again. Okay, looks like it's online. Let's go ahead and SSH in. We're going to log in with the default account of Ubuntu and the default password of Ubuntu. First time in, it's going to ask us to change that password to a new password. So we'll go ahead and do that. After changing the password, we're forced to log out as expected. We'll go ahead and log back in. There you have it. Looks like we're in great shape. So now you've got Ubuntu Server 1804 running on that Raspberry Pi, and we can put it to good use, hopefully driving a couple of robots. Remember to issue a halt or a shutdown command before pulling the power. That'll keep the SD card from getting corrupted. All right, so a quick review. We pulled down an image. We wrote the image to the SD card. We did some initial configuration to bring it up on the wireless network, and then we booted it. All told, maybe 10 to 15 minutes worth of effort. For more information or details on how to set this up, see the tutorials at Ubuntu.com. Again, my name is Sid Faber from the robotics team at Canonical. Thanks a lot for watching.